And good evening. More than a week after APD admitted flaws in their crime stats reporting, they sat down with us today to talk about what they're doing to fix it. News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live at APD headquarters with what they had to say. Rebecca? Yeah, well, APD has been releasing crime stats every four months that showed crime was drastically going down in the city, but those numbers were preliminary and not right. And now APD wants to make sure they don't release numbers too soon. This is explainable and there has been some miscommunication, so we want to clear that up. APD is trying to set the record straight. They've recently been questioned about crime stats after they admitted their system had flaws. At no time ever um, have we either manipulated data or not given out any crime or not, you know, recorded that data. Earlier this year, APD released unbelievable numbers showing crime was drastically going down. For example, property crimes had decreased by 44 percent and car burglaries by 53 percent. Those numbers aren't right, but APD has not released the corrected stats. In an effort to be transparent, we released what I would say is preliminary data, which is um, data that still it's going to be accurate with the trends, but it's not finalized. Today, they walked us through the reporting process. So the CAD box right there is the computer aided dispatch. How that data is compiled and how the numbers can change. APD says if they first filed a crime as an aggravated battery, in time that crime could be upgraded. After six months, if that person dies, it changes to a homicide. So that crime has to get sent to the FBI and reported. They also say their system is inadequate and they need updated technology. So APD will no longer be releasing quarterly crime stats and it will take longer to find out whether crime is going up or down in the city. Moving forward, the data that is released will be in that finalized data when everything has been analyzed. And again, the margin will be much more um, minute. APD says they still want to release data as frequently as possible. They say at best they're going to try and release crime stats twice a year. Jess, back to you. All right, thank you, Rebecca. APD also says that they've been dealing with a backlog of crime reports that haven't been entered in the system yet. They say they get eight to 10,000 reports a month. 